Oh, yeah. Right, um, my name's Dave Ames, I'm also a teacher. I'm a CAS hub leader and a CAS master teacher, so I'm trying to teach people like you to, to do, um, to, to program in school, to teach programming in schools rather. Um, but so at the moment I've got a GCSE computing class and computing's going, expanding across the curriculum and we're, one of the things we're looking at is, is where can we fit Raspberry Pis into what we're doing. So at the moment, um, with, we're, we've asked our head teacher for some money to buy 10 Raspberry Pis and maybe some robotics kit and we, we're thinking about running a robotics club after school well, so that we can get used to interfacing the Raspberry Pi to, to other stuff. Um, and then sort of trickle it down the following year into, into our curriculum. Because the curriculum's gone, we, we've got a blank slate. We can, we're, we're almost, at this, at this point, we can, we can introduce what we want and see how it, how it boils down. So in preparation for doing that next year, I bought a little robot kit thing and various other bits to, I already had, two Raspberry Pis at this point, but so I've got this and I've got this, but I don't really know how to hook them together. <laughs> and I discovered yesterday, when I put this together yesterday with my son, which was his homework for, for school, um, was I put this together and then discovered that this particular Raspberry Pi that I've got hasn't got any holes in it because it's an old one, whereas the other one that I've got in there does. So, so I couldn't even attach it yesterday. Yeah, blue tech. Yeah, so, but but it's it's what goes where it, because before I do it with 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 children, I need to do it for myself to get it to get it working. So I know that you you do a lot of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I've, I've had a, I've had a, a poke around, but it's, it's time at this this time of year is the is the issue. So that's where I'm at. I've got various bits that that need to be hooked together. And, and the plan was, originally I was thinking about doing it with a wireless adapter and running and um, <coughs> logging in remotely to it, to, to run it through scratch. But um, then I thought it probably won't work on our school network. So can I export the X session, the X um, Windows session from there and, and access it remotely? That way, so if I turn this into a into a into a wireless access point and log in to the X session through there, can I do that? Yes, yes, that'll work. You can run your the Linux block, which is your Raspberry yeah, Pi, yeah. as a wireless access point. Yeah, that that, that, that essentially just connect to that network. And then, and then yeah, that, that, that I thought I could, but I was just uh, Wi-Fi. Though. Yeah, I've got one uh, somewhere. In fact, it. Uh, VNC, VNC. VNC. Uh, VNC. Yeah. Uh, be careful when you when you buy Wi-Fi dongles. Mm -hmm. Make sure you look up. Like, I think I bought one that supposedly is, but I've not tested it yet. Yeah. I've got an Edimax one. Right. Oh, right. So won't work as, a, as an access point. Yeah. 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 See, uh, the one I've got is an Edimax, but I'm not sure whether I've not. Even turned it on yet. Right. So. This is um. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the one I've got is an Edimax one, so I need to check whether that will. But it won't mind that necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. Well. <laughs> so I can do that then. That's as far as I've got so far. 